Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, if you have some paint chips lying around, then you may have the makings for some great Easter projects. Here's one that I created and you can see that it's a banner, a, an Easter greeting, and it spells out Happy Easter. And each of the Easter eggs have been cut from one of those paint chips. The thing that's so great is the pastel colors of the paint chips they work perfectly to cut out Easter eggs. So here you can see, these are the, the paint chips that I had. And I love the fact that they're nice and big and it was easy to cut any of the Easter eggs from the paint chip. But now you need to look at how you're gonna hang it. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. If one simple way is to take paper, construction paper or copy paper and just fold it. I'm gonna bring in the egg die. Now I want the fold to be at the top. So if I take the folded edge and I slide it until I get towards the top, I want the blade at the top to remain visible so that I still have that folded edge left intact. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll set it in the Big Shot Pro and put the cutting pad over the top. When I roll it through, it's gonna cut out the egg with the folded edge. So if you look here, what you have now is something folded. So if I put some adhesive on the inside, you'd actually put more adhesive than that, but it's enough to put it together. And then go ahead and place your ribbon and fold this closed. You can see how it's gonna hang nicely. Now it's just a matter of just taking any of, in this case, if this is the first letter of my message, I'm gonna go ahead and because it's cut with the same egg die, it's going to align perfectly. And now what you have is the first letter. You just continue to do the rest of the letters. And you can see that I also cut a carrot out as a, a means to separate the two words. But that's just if you want to try cutting on the fold. Another possibility is to take just a simple circle punch and cut two little circles in each of the egg shapes and then thread the ribbon through. And when I hold this up, you'll see this also works great for creating a message that hangs. Now that's using the Easter eggs to make some kind of a banner that you can have some fun Easter or springtime greeting in your classroom. But that's not the only thing that I use the eggs for. I took just some simple, clean, clear acetate and I cut it into this pocket shape, which means I don't have to label it because it's clear what it is. And when I drop this onto the table, you'll see that the flashcards that I made, if you have younger students who are learning upper and lowercase alphabet, for your older students who are learning states and state capitals, third graders who may be learning multiplication facts, primary students who are learning numbers. All of these are cool and fun things that you can do. You know, you've probably heard them all, that these ideas are excellent, or they're extra special, or even extraordinary. But however you say it, your kids and your pocketbook are gonna love it.